Monday was the feast of the Nativity of St. John the Baptist. We transferred it today because there was no other saint for today. Uh, it was a big day in Portugal. Uh, you may or may not know that the uh, Feast of John the Baptist is a big occasion in Portugal and always has been. Uh, it's an occasion when, for uh, no apparent reason, people go around throwing water on each other. You might guess it's from baptism, but the idea that they would do this to complete strangers in the street is kind of an odd idea. Uh, it obviously has taken on a, sort of a cultural sense there, and it's particularly common among young people when men, young men and young women want to draw each other's attention. They'll go and, and, and let someone else know that they're interested, I guess, by drenching them and go figure what we do romantically doesn't make any sense. But it occurred to me as I was thinking about that that it isn't necessarily a bad idea. I don't suggest that we go throwing water on one another, but I wonder when the last time was that you took your baptism into your own hands, when the last time was that you dumped a bucket of your baptism over someone else's head. This, dear friends, is kind of what we're called to do. Most of us were baptized when we were quite small and don't really remember it. And so it's something that we trust because our parents told us it happened. Maybe there are pictures, I don't know. But otherwise, it, it's often something we take for granted and never really bring into our present reality and into our consciousness. And yet, if you go back to the prayer book and read about what it is that we're promising or that someone else promised on our behalf when we were baptized, these are not things that we did someplace, somewhere way in the past that we're done with and now we don't have to worry about them anymore. We're called to do things like seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves, proclaiming the good news of God in Christ. I wonder how often we take those things into our hands and do them. I'm not suggesting that we have to go out on the street corner and uh, shout loudly about our baptism, about other people's need to be baptized, or any of that sort of stuff. I mean, there are much subtler ways and indeed much more common ways. I wonder when the last time was you called somebody up who was widowed six months ago. I mean, as an aside, I'm sure you are aware that <clears throat> when someone loses a spouse, the whole world is there for the first two weeks and suddenly they all scatter. It's only months later that those people in that situation begin to really need all of that Christian community to come around. I wonder how, when the last time was you called somebody that you haven't talked to for a while. So let's go to lunch. When was the last time you did some charitable act that no one would expect, that no one will ever know about? May in fact be completely ignored by the world, but nonetheless was healing in the life of some other person or of the community in general. These are the things that we can do to take our baptism into our own hands, to pour it out again and again and again on the world, on the people we know, on the people we meet, indeed the people we don't even know. And in so doing, we pick up the other piece that we heard about in the Collect and in what St. Paul was saying and in what was said indirectly, at least in the Gospel, that there's something about baptism and proclaiming that go together. John the Baptist didn't get himself into trouble by baptizing people. He got into trouble by telling people the truth. Well, sometimes that truth is the sort of challenging truth that John the Baptist spoke, and we are called to do that too. But sometimes it is the healing truth of God's love that we are called to speak. If we will do that, I think we will in fact be taking our baptism into our own hands bringing it into the present, pouring it out into the world where it is so desperately needed by so many people. I challenge you, get somebody wet this week, wet with the love of God, wet with the, the joy of knowing that God's kingdom, God's love and justice is already here among us. We have only to see it. Amen.